select the piecewise function whose graph is shown below and or I guess we should say to the right I copied and pasted it so it's on the right now so we have this piecewise continuous function so it's not defined for x being negative 2 or lower but then starting at x greater than negative 2 it starts being defined it's continuous all the way until we get to the point x equals 2 and then we have a discontinuity and then it starts getting defined again down here and then it is continuous for a little while all the way and then after x is greater than 6 when x is greater than 6 it's once again undefined so let's think about which of these functions describe this one over here so this one looks like a a radical function shifted so square root of let's see square root of x would look something like square root of x would look like this let me do it in a color that you could see square root of x would look like this square root of so square root of x looks like this and this just looks like square root of x shifted 2 to the left so this looks like square root of x plus 2 this one right over here looks like square root of x plus 2 and you could verify that when x is negative 2 negative 2 plus 2 square root of that is going to be 0 and it's it's not defined there but we see that if if we were to continue it would have been defined there but let's try some other points when x is negative 1 negative 1 plus 2 is 1 principal root of 1 is 1 let's try 2 when x is equal to 2 2 plus 2 is 4 principal root of 4 is positive 2 so this this looks like a pretty good candidate so it looks like our function so let's see, let's see it looks like our function it would be, and I'm not going to call it anything because it could be p, h, g, or f, but our function, if I were to write it out, it looks like over this first interval, so it looks like it's the square root of x plus 2 for negative 2 being less than x. It's not defined at negative 2, but as long as x is greater than negative 2 and x is less than or equal to 2, and x is less than or equal to 2. So that's this part this part of the function and then it jumps down and now this looks like x to the third x to the third looks something like this so x to the third power looks something something like something like that so let's see negative two to the third power is negative eight so it looks something like that that's what x to the third looks like so two to the third power is eight two to the third power is eight so x to the third looks something like that. This looks like x to the third shifted over four. So I would, I'm, I'm guessing that this is x minus four to the third power. And but we can verify that. When x is equal to four, four minus four to the third power, we do indeed get the value of this expression being equal to zero. When x is six, six minus two to six minus four is two to the third power is indeed eight. When x is 2, 2 minus 2, 2 minus 4 is negative 2 to the third power is indeed negative 8. So this over this over this interval, it is x minus 4 to the third power. So we could say, we could say, so this part of the function, this part of the function right over here, we could say is x minus 4 to the third power for, for x, for x being so for x being greater than 2, or we could say 2 is less than x, and it's defined all the way to s x being equal to 6, but not being greater than. So x is less than or equal to 6. So which of these choices are what we just put in? So square root of x plus 2, well that's not, see square root of x plus 2 for negative 2 is less than x is less than or equal to 2. x minus 4 to the third for 2 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 6. So I would go with that one.